Well, the big question is, is, does Georgia Tech have a third big game in them in a row? Let's face it. They went to Clemson. Play, they played Clemson in a nail-biter there. Uh, now, I mean, at the time, that looked, you know, a colossal effort. But after what we saw last week with Clemson and NC State, how much do we really have to readjust the power ratings on Clemson for this year? You never want to overreact to one game. But now we've seen this offense struggle in three games this year. Uh, so Clemson's got some problems. North Carolina, they're a team that can score points, but they can't stop anybody. And Georgia Tech was able to get that running game going and just control the game. 43 runs, 261 yards against North Carolina. Now, this Pitt team, yeah, they give up a lot of points, but they score a ton of points. And it's because of Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett's having a great season for Pitt, and he's one of those guys, thanks to the COVID uh, rule change and that with eligibility, he's a fifth-year senior quarterback on this team, and they can score on anybody. And I just question if Georgia Tech is going to be able to trade points with Pitt in this game. And you talk about Pitt, will they be able to stop that running game of Georgia Tech? Well, they face it every single year. And in the last three seasons, they've held that – Georgia Tech offense to 19, 10, and 20 points last year. They've been able to contain that running game. And again, if Pitt gets up by a couple scores, that running game becomes less effective. I'm going to go ahead and take the Pitt Panthers here. Uh, note that last week, Georgia Tech against North Carolina, one of the benefits were they were plus three in turnovers. If Kenny Pickett has a clean game, they're in trouble here. I got Pitt 34 23. I'll lay the points with the Pitt Panthers.